plate uh, to share some things about dementia with you. We have Nancy, who we just met, Nice Warner with Golden Pond Elder Care, and we have Julie, who you just met with Valley Health um, Structural Senior Outpatient. So give the ladies a big hand for stepping up, and they're going to share a few things with you. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone, again. <laughs> um, I just want to quickly speak upon um, depression. Uh, it's something that affects um, folks later in life more than I think they it's realized or maybe even talked about. Um, some stats here, depression affects more than 6.5 million of the 35 million Americans age 65 and older. And a lot of times, um, depression or other mental health conditions can be exasperated by physical conditions, um, such as dementia and Alzheimer's, um, arthritis, cancer, heart disease, thyroid disease, stroke, um, Parkinson's. Um, and, and I think, you know, the most important thing to um, recognize is there has been a stigma in the past about getting help for um, depression and other mental health conditions, and I'd like to really advocate for re reducing that. And you know, getting treatment for your mental health is no different than you know taking insulin for your diabetes, and um, and the quality of life. If you are able to participate in treatment. You, You'd be surprised how that can change, and I think that's what we want is a different quality of life for our folks um, as they age gracefully. Um, so I think that is all that I have, and I'm going to turn you over to Nancy. Thank you. Please come and see me at my booth if you have any questions, okay? Good morning. There you go. I want to make sure everybody's awake. Okay. I'm going to go over very quickly with you the 10 warning signs of Alzheimer's. Yeah. Scary, isn't it? I know it scares me because it runs in my family. Okay. I used to be the regional director for programs and services for the Alzheimer's Association in the area just west of our, actually a little bit north of here. I had seven counties, but what brought me to the association and what brought me into working with seniors was the simple fact that my father, my aunt, and my father-in-law, who I all took care of, all passed away with either Alzheimer's or vascular dementia. So it's a kind of a kick in the stomach when you hear that diagnosis. Doctor actually said to me one day, as my father was laying in bed and we couldn't figure out why, his mind was, was changing, came out and said, can I see you in the hall for a minute? And I said, you know, okay. And you know that it's not going to be good, right? Okay. And he looked at me straight in the eye, and he goes, Nancy? He goes, I'm sorry to say your father has Alzheimer's. Patted me on his shoulder and said, have a bad day. And walked away. I had not a clue what to do. But if I had known some of the signs ahead of time, I might have been able to intervene a little earlier and maybe brought him a better quality of life. So I'm going to give you some 10 signs, and you don't have to write them down, but I want you to keep them in the back of your mind. You know, there's always something that when you wake up in the morning and you're brushing your teeth that goes through your head, you know, as you kind of plan in your day, just remember one of these and keep an eye on it for yourself or somebody that you love. Okay. The first sign is something that changes or disrupts your daily life. What does that mean? Something like leaving the stove on and then leaving the house and then there's a fire. Okay? That's one. Problem solving. Simple things. I have to go to the grocery store. I need groceries. What do I do? Do I make a list? Do you know to get car keys? Do you know to back your car out of the driveway? Do you know how to get there? Very simple things. If you have to stop, or if you know somebody that can't manipulate those things on how to solve a problem, 
That may be a sign. Difficulty with familiar tasks. I knew that something was going on with my father-in-law, who was from New England, northerner. And for all the years that my husband and I have been married, he always made lobster bisque, and it was the best I had ever had in my life. So, as he grew older, I would buy the ingredients and take them down to the house that he lived in, down in Stafford County, Spotsylvania, excuse me. And I went there one day, had all the groceries, we went in, I put them on the counter, and I looked at them and I said, all right, Gramps, do your magic. And he just stood there, looking at me. And I said, what's the matter? He said, I don't remember how to do it. Red flag. Okay, confusion with time and place. How many people here wake up in the morning and go, it is 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I live in Woodstock, and I have the following things to do. Nobody, right? We all wake up and we go, what day is it? It's uh, Thursday. I know all of these people over here, every one of them are road warriors. Okay? So we all are, uh, we all. Tell me, somebody, raise your hand if you have not woken up one morning and said, Dang it, it's Tuesday. No, it's Wednesday. Okay? But the day that you wake up and you seriously don't know what the date is, maybe can't remember the month or the year, and you don't know where you are, that, my friends, is a warning sign. Trouble with visual images and spatial. Part of what Alzheimer's does in the brain is it affects different parts at different times. The, ori the original part of the brain that's affected most often early in Alzheimer's is called the hippocampus. And it's right above your ears, about an inch above, and about an inch in, and it's about the size of the end of your thumb, and that's called your short-term memory. Okay? And as the disease progressive, progresses, it usually goes to the front of your brain, and then to the top, and all the way to the back. And as it does this, you know, this effect of your brain basically is dying in small increments. It affects your vision, it affects your balance. So somebody who sees a pattern on a rug may get very confused and take very big steps. They start walking funny their balance comes and goes. So that's another sign. Problems with words, speaking, and writing. I had a patient some time ago, and she couldn't even spell the simplest words like of and the, and she was a doctor. I had another young man, and I say young, the youngest person that I've met that I worked with that had the disease was 29. Okay, so this disease is not just for people who are aging seniors. It affects all different stratas and ages of life. So keep that in mind as well. Misplacing and losing things. I am the guiltiest of that, okay? Because I'm on the road so much and I'm coming and going and coming and going, I try to make a routine. Keys go in the basket by the door, okay? And the minute they are not in that basket, I know to blame my husband. <laughs> and his response is always the same. I did not touch your keys. Okay? So if you start forgetting little things, the real trick to letting you know that there's a problem is that you cannot retrace your steps. Now when I forget where I put my keys, I stop and I think, okay, I got out of the car, I grabbed my purse, I had my keys in my hand, I had to go to the restroom, now. So I threw them on the bed, ah, they're on the bed. But if you cannot retrace your steps, you might have a problem, okay? Uh, how about decreased or poor judgment? How many people here know what QVC is? 
The shopping channel? Yeah. Yeah. When my father-in-law passed, passed away and we went to go and take care of affairs at his house, I opened closets and every one of them was filled to the ceiling with unopened boxes of QVC wow. products. Because they said, you've only got three minutes left. You must order now. Okay, that's poor judgment. Okay. Withdraw from social activities or work. We have a tendency to notice that people who have dementia, oftentimes, as Julie may talk about, has talked about, they withdraw because they don't understand what's going on around them. They get confused. If there's somebody having a conversation over here and music's playing over here and somebody else is on the telephone over here, to them, it's just blah, 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 blah. So they have this confusion and they can't understand what's going on. So how do they deal with it? Head goes down, back into a corner, and they start staying to themselves. They don't want anybody asking them questions that they can't answer. So you'll see them starting to lock their doors. Some people will leave a note on their door. Please do not disturb. Okay. And last, changes in mood and personality. You know, working with seniors, I love seniors. I just want to tell my friend over here, Christine, some of you, I just want to squeeze you. Okay? And then there's some that you just go, mm. But you know what? You've earned the right to speak your mind all the years that you've been on this earth all the wonderful things that you've done in your life. But then there's the person who you can say good morning to and they go, what's so good about it? <laughs> so when you start to see these personality changes, it could be an indication. All right. So those are the 10 warning signs. Pick one. When you brush your teeth tomorrow, just because I said this, you will think about it. I guarantee it. Your mind is on sharp, on tact. All right, I appreciate it. Keep in mind, and if anybody has any questions about anything, I'll be over here at the first table. And again, I'm with Golden Cup. There you go. Trouble with speaking in words. Golden Pond Elder Care Strategies. Thank you so much.